guy. Uh, you my guy. What's wrong with you? Uh, love him, I love him. Uh, I love him, I love him. I love him, I love him. Love him, I love him, I love him. Love him, I love him, I love him. Hello everyone, this is The Upper Room. I'm your host, Joseph Watson. And today, we have a special guest. This is a brother from another mother in the house today. It's a surprise. <laughs> Big surprise. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome our very own special, handsome, <laughs> brilliant, Michael Watty. Wow, this is this is an introduction. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you. See, look at me. You forgot me clapping. I don't know why I'm clapping. Me, my introduction alone is 1K. <laughs> my intro alone is 1K. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming through today, Mike. Yeah. I, I really appreciate it. Thank you for having me. Really yeah. appreciate it. And then when you were coming, you didn't come alone. You brought Diamond to us too. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Guys, watch out for Diamond in this episode, yeah? Yeah. And we have our own special person, our diligent. Sweet mama in the house. Wow. <laughs> Daniel. Oh, gosh. Powerful. Oh, you can call it Daniel. Okay, what's the topic today? Hey. Uh, please, the topic here, I'll just give you the intro and I get out of the studio. Okay. Are men naturally polygamous? Uh -huh. Hey. Are men oh. naturally polygamous? M Mike, are you ready for this? About to get into it. Can I mm, I'm ready. I'm it. ready. I'm not, I'm not ready, so I'll be leaving you guys here. I'm going out for someone else too. I'm just joking. Okay, so I'm going to start again, Daniel. You're going to start because mm. you always start. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so Daniel, what's your thoughts on this? Are men naturally polygamous? Hmm. What's a question? Okay. Are men naturally polygamous? polygamous. Hmm. This is a this is a question. Um. I personally think men, compared to women, men have a, hmm, you know, this is a tough question. Oh, <laughs> I think the answer, my answer, I think yes. I know some people are going to get at me. Oh, but you, but before you say yes, yes, <laughs> sorry, but c confirm the definition of polygamous one more time. Okay. So polygamy mm -hmm. means a man with more than one wife. More so than it, one wife, yeah. not more than one woman. More than one, more than one wife. So if we're saying polygamous, it means mm. a man who is Who's can't get, be with just one with, person. Okay, yeah. gets with multiple people. Yeah, so okay. multiple women. Cool. Yeah, so I think men are naturally that way, and the reason why I say that is because actually biologically, mm -hmm. how God designed men, um, I think men are just created in a way where they create. I need to be careful. No, no, I say, 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 say what's on your chest. Yeah, just, say just, it. just be like, just be, just be really Okay. Because, yeah, you, if you know, just. Like, just Even just, science says men, mm -hmm. men's sex drive is actually higher than women. Mm -hmm. And. I believe that. That leads, <laughs> that leads them to actually craving. I feel like a man can't be one woman for the rest of his life. Mm -hmm. Throughout that, throughout that lifetime, he's going to get with other women. Other women. Like, what, okay. even, even after marriage? Mm, good question. Um, I mean, I think a lot of men, you need to have a very high self-control. Mm. Yeah, and be committed. But they will struggle. I feel like they will struggle, but it's, it's de depending on the man to be faithful and committed and overcome mm. that natural feeling that he gets. So, for example, if you guys see a girl outside, mm -hmm. that's nice. You're going to turn naturally. 99% <laughs> of guys, yeah. that's what I think. Yeah. Because you guys have that natural sort of instinct to just, do you know what I mean? Mm. That's what I think. Okay, so men are naturally, they were created. I think that's how they were created. Because even, look at, look at a woman. We, when we overlate, we have one egg, yeah, that comes every month. Mm. Men, you guys, when you guys, you know, look how many, <laughs> look, the, you guys can give one, millions of sperms in one go. <laughs> so naturally, naturally, that's, that's so many children that you're, mm. do you know what I'm saying? Okay. So even, Biologically, men. I don't know if you understand what I'm trying to say. No, I, yeah, I, I think, yeah, yeah, I think I get what you're trying okay, to say. Okay, okay, you let me just dive into uh, to Michael. So, Michael, what's uh, your, your thoughts on this? Mm. Uh, are men naturally polygamous? It, it's, it's interesting because I was having this discussion with one of my boys the other week, mm. and he so he's been with his girl for like seven plus years now, 
they're looking at getting engaged, getting married, whatever. And I simply asked him a question in it, like, so do you mm. think in that time, your girl has only been with you and vice versa? So obviously mm. if she's, if we're asking that question of her, she's obviously asking the same question. Yeah. And it's like, Right, in that time, have I only just been with my girl? So I'm not gonna bait my guy out. Yeah, yeah. But it's um, <laughs> it's a sticky one. Mm. <laughs> Obviously, for him, he's been faithful. But I know in that in that situation, a lot of other men would struggle. Yeah. So I think naturally, okay. Even if I bring it back to a whole, when you're initially dating, when you're initially dating, it's. You're, it's hard to date one person and and not explore the field because oh. like oh, not not no I said that wrong it's, no no I said that I said that that came out wrong no it's not hard to date one person mm. it's more like before you get into that that dating phase you got to test the waters a little bit yeah, feel out people mm-hmm. because otherwise you're gonna end up getting into a situation that you're you're not quite ready for no. do yeah. you know what I mean. So I could be talking to like three different people and out of talking to like three different people, I realise, okay, this is the one that yeah. is for me. So naturally, I feel like you might be more inclined to speak to a few different people. That doesn't necessarily make it a bad thing, but mm. it's more, I think naturally that's what you're inclined to do. Yeah. If, well, if, if that's, I'm making sense. I, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Like when you're dating, it's good to, you know, you. You, if you're going to settle with one person, you need to know, like, not, ex- not explore, but, like, you can't have your eggs all in one basket. Of course not. Yeah. Because dating, you're allowed to date, like, to find out, mm. get to know different people. That's what I said the other time. People don't understand the concept of dating. Mm-hmm. You understand? The concept, the, the concept of dating itself has changed. Okay? So when you're dating someone, the other lullaby and the lullaby are all part of it. <laughs> The sex things are all part of it. <laughs> go eat deeper and all that. Now it's part of the dating. So yeah. that is why if you move on to go and l- lullaby someone, it becomes a problem. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. So that, you see yeah. what I'm saying? The dating itself was like me getting to know you, you getting to know me. Mm. Okay? And then if we, we if we meet our family, and we go further, and then we get engaged, and then we marry, that is when the lullaby and the lullaby comes in. Mm. But now... The lullaby and the lullaby are already <laughs> happening in the dating, dating stage. You yeah. understand? So then you end up you end up having multiple sexual partners. Exactly. Yeah. You understand? But the question is, you're saying that only happens at dating stage. So yeah. do you think after marriage, you're think, you're a so, guy? So, so I think after, when it comes to after marriage, mm-hmm. it okay. So for example, if you look at Back in the day, like even before the BC, talking Old Testament mm-hmm, times, mm-hmm. where it was normal for you to have multiple wives. Yeah. I think if we're looking at it from looking at it from a Christian point of view, and that kind of lens, after Jesus comes and then society and how things move on from that perspective, the obviously teachings have changed. Mm. One wife, boom. Yeah. Da 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 da. Yeah. So if you're looking at it through that lens, then of course I'm gonna say, you know, it's you know, I feel like mm. men shouldn't or not shouldn't be, even though you might be inclined to be that way, it's, it's not right for you to have multiple multiple, multiple okay. women and multiple wives. That's my own personal do you, opinion. Do you know what's interesting, actually? I was, I was actually looking at some facts online and apparently before polygamy became illegal, men were actually happier because they were allowed to have multiple wives. But when it became illegal, the, the divorce rate got higher. Mm. So I don't know if... Would you want multiple wives? That's that's a lot of stress. Yeah, which is another question. Yeah, <laughs> a lot of men can't do can't do polygamy because even the one woman you have is already enough stress. Like us women, we're not easy. Like, I'm gonna be real, mm. and then you're gonna go and have another wife, and you know what I'm saying. We, we, so, I had this conversation with with, with yeah. my friend on the way here. Yeah, it's, like, it's true. And when I was talking about, I was like. I personally don't I don't have the capacity. <laughs> yeah, I don't so, have the I don't have the capacity to deal with more than one woman. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So for so for me, it's like, no, but I know there's other guys mm. who are the complete opposite and they don't want to settle down. Yeah. So then it becomes a thing of, okay, so are the majority of men like mm. the other guy who wants to naturally get with other women or not? Yeah. I think personally no. I think yeah, I think no. Yeah. When, because I know, I know a few guys who, you know, they're in committed relationships, you know, they're married, they love their wives, 
but then they end up slipping or falling. And it's not because they love that girl or they want to mm. sell with the other person. It just happened and they don't know why. Mm. So why, why does that happen? Okay, so that is what we are talking about. Uh, men naturally follow the others. Mm. Okay, this is what we are talking about. Something that is natural. Something you were created, how God created us. You get it? God created women to, in a, in, in a month, they discharge and all that. That is natural. It comes, every woman goes through that. Mm. That is it. God created women to uh, hold a baby for nine months. Mm. Natural. Men were created that way, natural. So we are talking about something, how we were created. But do you think God created men that way? He created men that way. Mm. That is why if we want to go back, 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 BC. Mm -hmm. Okay. If we are starting from Noah, you know, first God, God comes down, walk with Noah, have chat with Noah, those times. Yes. God was more closer to us. But because of all this, angels flying from heaven to come here and then come and have sex with women there. Yeah, you know, mm -hmm. you know that. Do you know mm -hmm. angels came yeah, to earth to earth to have sex with the women on earth? Were, they, were those angels men? They were men. Okay. Have sex with, that's why they give birth to giants. Mm. They, give, yeah, they give birth to giants mm. and stuff. They give birth to other, other uh, species on this thing. Yeah. If you see aliens, you saw them, that, they, they cause that. <laughs> God gave okay. them a job to do in heaven. They came here to come and have sex. Mm. So, God. <laughs> and they were men. So. Yeah, they were men. Because, they, no. you know, in heaven, if you have been to heaven before, me, I've never been, but I want to go one day, okay, hopefully. Definitely. Yeah, God willing. <laughs> when you go to heaven, you don't see them, all what they do when, when you wake up in the morning, holy father, holy, <laughs> in the morning, after the holy father. So I think, Charlie, they were struggling. So they have to come down, they come and have a little party. You understand? The, the, wow. the, the stuff. Yeah, you know, when, when you are, yeah, I, I think when you are a believer, you love God, you chose God's side, there are disciplines you need to follow. Hmm. You understand? Those angels couldn't handle those things, so they, they came and came, came to enjoy themselves, themselves mm. went to party and stuff. So yeah. God would close the gates for them. They remain here. Mm. Yes, they, they remain. That's why mm. they, they became smaller gods here. Mm -hmm. Some of them are in the sea, some of them are in the river, some of them are in, in, a, in, a, in a realm you won't even see, unless you have spiritual eyes mm. before you can see them. So they were all angels that were casted down because of all this thing they came to do. Okay, I started from Noah. Now I want to go to Abraham. Abraham also slept with what? The, the, the what was it? The wife's servant. Servant, yeah. You understand? Mm. Because Abraham couldn't mm. wait for God. When God said, Abraham, don't worry, I'll give you a child. I'll give you a... Abraham couldn't wait, went to sleep with the wife's servant. Now I want to come to um, Jacob. Was it Jacob? Jacob slept with a lot of women. Jacob slept with a lot of women. Hmm. Mm. Now I want to go to um, David. As for David, we all know David, his, yeah. his, uh, his see, issues. David, David had uh, mm. uh, multiple women, but he was not so satisfied to that mm. extent of sleeping with one of his God's wife. You had multiple women, and then your God had only one woman. You went to kill the God, and then went to sleep with the woman. Mm. Yeah, mm. because he didn't have any way to get a woman. So the way I can get you is to go and kill your husband so that I can have you. So mm. why am I mentioning all... This, you, you see, all the so the polygamy started long time, time ago. Mm. You understand, and all this thing that God is not happy about all, all all that. So it's like He created something. We need to have discipline on it, but we break the rules. That's why after David go and have the says, you go down and then go and make a song for God. And like God, I'm so. <laughs> <laughs> for what's up there? When you, when you, when you open uh, the book of Psalms, mm. a lot of songs that uh, David, David has written when you go and have sex. Mm. You understand? And what I want to say is having multiple women doesn't make you happy. It, it makes you do a lot. That's why I'm giving David an extent. I don't, I, don't, I don't know if that... I don't, I don't know if that means that men naturally are polygamous though mm. because mm -hmm. what I would say is if you're basing it on on like old experiences from people, like for example, you mentioned Abraham and, and all of these people, I feel like the mandate for man in those times were different. Mm. So if you've got prophets and pastors nowadays, if you looked at them and you saw that they were doing that, you say the bruv, they're mad. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So yeah. it's like the mission statement for us lot now, modern day, mm -hmm. 
believers, Christians, or even just as people in general, because even if you look at a normal guy and you, you yeah. <laughs> see he's got 50 wires, you're going to think, wow, yeah. this guy's moving yeah. a bit mad. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I feel like even from back then, we, we you're, you're, I, you're, there's got to be that one person that you just look to. You know what I mean? There's got to be that one person that you, yeah. that's your person. This yeah. is the person that was destined for me. Mm-hmm. I think if you, I know you mentioned before when you get married and you think a guy like falls out. Yeah. I think that's a different thing altogether because mm. if you fall out, that's that becomes more of a temptation and the same thing. Mm. That doesn't mean that because I'm naturally inclined to get with other women, that it just happens because then that yeah. becomes an excuse for a lot of men yeah. Yeah, to start definitely. sleeping around, and then yeah. and then my excuse is gonna be ah oh, man that's yeah. that polygamy yeah again. and it's true <laughs> that me men, again do you know what I'm saying a lot of men use it as an excuse like oh that's how we that's are naturally that's yeah, how we but are no, it's, yeah. it's it's not how we are yeah. and it's it's not natural and it's not right mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying if you if you enter into a relationship you enter into into a covenant with someone then that is that's it man mm-hmm. that's that's your person you have to abide by that you have to stick by that you then lean on God's strength to help sustain that mm. and if you fall out of that then that's that's you stepping yeah. out on, on a commitment I think what you're saying um, I agree to an extent I feel like men I'm just because I'm coming from the science perspective mm. where like there's been so many studies that have studied the man's brain and a woman's brain and you see the difference where man's sex drive is higher even there was a study where they showed men, you know, photographs of naked women mm. and showed women na- photographs of naked men. And actually, the, the women showed no signal in their brain to that. Whereas the men showed, like, the results showed that they were ex- extremely, you know, um, their brain, the part of their brain that's called their medulla or something like that. Mm. That part of their brain showed the extreme high sex drive compared to the women. Wow, when they and that, that's the bio, bi- bi- yeah, biology. Even pictures without women wearing any, like, wearing actually cr- clothes. Mm. So... Even that side, it shows, I feel like men have a bit of it, like, naturally, mm. but discipline, like, you're talking about discipline. If you're yeah. a man and you marry, it's about discipline. It's about knowing, okay, I'm married, I'm committed to this person. How can I overcome this feeling? Maybe I've seen a girl, she's nice, but I have this person. Yeah. I think it's just about discipline, because well, some men... E- even biologically, so, sorry to... Yeah, no, go on. But even biologically, like, even from the beginning, if you look at uh, the initial, initial, initial mission, which is just to go and go forth and multiply, right? Yeah. Looking at men biologically, you can say the same thing for women, really. Because if I, if I'm supposed to go out and spread my seed, mm-hmm. you're also supposed to give. It. <laughs> so what? Then I, can I then say, "Oh, woman, you're just supposed to accept any <laughs> any, any seed and and help true, continue true. to help populate the earth"? Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? So for me, that's why it's hard for me to look at it that way. Because mm. you know, if you're saying men are naturally created to, then I can say the same thing for women. You guys yeah. are naturally created to, because ultimately you're the carriers, you're the ones that actually bring yeah. life into the world, you know what I'm saying? If anything, I'd say that's probably even, not probably, that's way more important than, <laughs> than what our job is. Our job is just to carry, you man are to deliver, do you know mm-hmm. what I mean? So yeah. that's why I think I, it's hard for me to focus on that lens and say that means men are naturally po- polygamous mm-hmm. because, mm-hmm. you know, it's, it's, it's difficult when you look at it like that from my perspective. Yeah. Okay, so um, from my perspective, Daniel even gave examples on uh, going to the, the the science side of it, doctors counting brains and stuff, and then mm. comparing both and all. Like I've seen it, I've also watched documentaries on that, and then they say, you know, men, what they see, they just go, like the brain starts signaling and then twitching, and then start like, oh my God, you even be working with your your woman, and then mm. you still turn, and then go and watch. And then before you know it, the, the, the back hand coming your <laughs> way. Yeah. A straight. Yeah. I, a, I know I know a man, yeah, who is a pastor, that when anytime he's outside with uh, the his, wife. his wife and then they're in a the car and the lady is uh, like walking on the street, like just jiggling, jiggling the car, <laughs> jiggling the ass. You know what he does? He will watch it and he'll be like, This ladies nowadays, look how look how they're dressing. That's you don't come to church. Don't about me while he's just walking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. why is he saying <laughs> why is he saying the sentence he's yeah. there? Mm. So that the wife would think like, oh, yeah. they're watching, but he preaches. And then he'll be the same guy that will yeah. come to church and, <laughs> all the young girls. <laughs> you understand? Just yeah. watching and they'll be like, oh, yeah, 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 and all that. So it's like, like, that's that's how, like, men have been, but we can't use that as an excuse mm. because even Paul says we have to have discipline in that. We need mm. to um, kill the, the taste of the flesh mm. because this flesh always will want something. Mm. But, always. But you yeah. have to kill it. But how do we kill it? You yeah. don't pick knife and then cut your neck off. Yeah. <laughs> You have to kill it by 
by activating the power of the Holy. I always say activating the power of the Holy Spirit to mm. always overcome the the taste of the flesh. What the, mm. the flesh wants. Mm -hmm. If it happens like that, you will see you always overcome this. Yeah, you understand. Yeah. It, and we can't give that excuse. If you want to give excuse and use uh, Moses, uh, David as an example, yeah, then I'll tell you it will be a wrong example. Let mm. me tell you, all these men didn't find it easy. Mm. From uh, Jacob, from David, yeah. from King Solomon. Nobody, even all, all even yes. even even Jesus himself was tested yeah, in every way. Man, yeah. I think people seem to forget here yeah, that this guy lived his life till he was thirty three. That means mm. for a minute in time, Jesus was sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, yeah. with all the hormonal issues that we're going through. Yeah. Managed to kill the flesh. Managed to go through mm. that. Yep, mm -hmm. yep. We told yeah, it's yeah. like yeah. every we all go through it. Yeah. Temptation. Yeah. It, it's a different ball game. Mm. So like the the thing. Thanks for bringing Jesus in. You know how Jesus overcame it. You know the time uh, Lucifer or Satan took Jesus Ten. on the the, 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 the mountain of yeah. the building mm. to show uh, Jesus, look, these are all the kingdoms. If you bow down to me, I'll give you all. I'll give you yeah. all. But that time, Jesus, Jesus fasted for days, so he was highly in the spirit. You can never, yeah. you can never, like you, that time itself, you can never. And he, like, look at all the struggle he went through, and then he will leave everything and then bow down to you. Know, mm. even Jesus was taking on the mount. Jesus, that was heaven, and then came down. And that means <laughs> that we were born on the earth already. What are we yeah. going to do? So we also have to know that activating the power of the Holy Spirit, we always being in that field. Mm. Because if we get out of that field, then we're going to be in a, in, in yeah. a big trouble. Like one one thing he said is, we all experience it. So I think women and men, we go through temptations. We're all tempted because we're all human beings. Mm. We're all born into sin. So just as you said, I think if we want to, just as Jesus was tempted, we're all going to get tempted. Mm -hmm. So if we want to overcome that temptation, then we need to actually be in the spirit. Because if we're feeding our flesh all the time, yeah. it's going to be more difficult when that temptation comes. So, mm -hmm. you know, we need to be praying, worshipping. Can I ask you something? Yeah, then? go on. So if you're, I know this might be a whole different question altogether, mm -hmm. but if you're saying are all men polygamous, would you say all women are polygamous as women well? Women are not. You, you, I don't you think say they women are. are not. Women are not polygamous. No. Okay, what makes you say that? The reason why I'm My saying, who, like, you, you know, when Daniel was, uh, was talking, you started talking about, um, like, uh, women releasing an amount of eggs. Well, how many? How many no, I was, I was talking about when men ejaculate. Mm -hmm. They ejaculate millions of sperms. And then the women. But women, like, we focus on. But I know on, women have a set amount of eggs anyway. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So and they, we release they, only one. So we yeah. focus on that one. And naturally, that's how we are. We, we're very... We're not, we don't, we can't have multiple men. That, like that, it's, we're not naturally wired that way. You go out with a woman, okay, man and a woman went out. The woman will see even uh, a naked man and then not move like that, like how a man will move. Do if he sees a naked woman, yeah. Do, do, do you know, do you know, do you know? Nah, nah, don't, nah. Do you know, <laughs> do you nah, nah, because also? the same way, the same way men explore mm -hmm. and date is the same way women explore and date. Like a woman's going to talk to a guy and for think, oh, time. for some time and engage him and feel him out. Mm -hmm. But also, she's going to talk to someone else as well and mm -hmm. feel him out and she's going to assess who the better of the option is. Before, mm -hmm. before my mum got with my dad, mm -hmm. I know she's already... Because there's going to be other guys that are yeah, trying to talk yeah, to her as well. Sure. So I know she's definitely had to say, okay, cool, let me assess what, what, who's going to be good for me. Mm -hmm. And, yeah, and, yeah, and yeah. then yeah. eventually she's going to pick... Thank God she picked him because now I'm here. Amen. Yeah. But then, <laughs> of course, she's going to pick the right person yeah. and then boom. So for me, it's like... We're all wired the same way. I don't think it's just... Mm. I think, I think if anything, if we look at it that way, then maybe, you, like you said, biologically, maybe men are more inclined just because yeah, of how yes. we are set up genetically-wise. But I think in terms of it holistically, we're all wired the same way. Mm. We're, all, we're all designed to explore and spread. Yeah. And uh, even on a base level, like as young people, okay. dating. Because like, that, that becomes a whole different topic yeah. as well. Date, dating, how you should date. I feel like you should be able to explore. Yeah. I don't think you should be looked frown like you should be looked down on for the seeing other people. I think if you start sleeping around with other people, that's when it becomes, that's a, when it yeah. becomes a bit mad. But if mm. in terms of actually looking and exploring and trying to find the right person, yeah. you have, so to, you I have think to. To add on to what he's saying, I do agree that men and women all explore. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to, I think, actually sleeping around that's with people, I feel like men do it more than women. That is it. I feel. Listen, listen, listen. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, I said in today. Yeah. Okay. Today, today. Okay, maybe. Okay, maybe twenty-first century. Society? Listen. I listen. don't know if I can agree Let with that lie. one. 
Um, okay. <laughs> With all the make it drop and the wop, that's on okay. wet, wet. Okay, you get, know what? Get it, get it, get it. Nah, I'm sorry. Before, 21st if, you, century. If, you, if you said that to me 10 years ago, then I would have been like, hell yeah, but. but not today. Yeah, okay. Today, <laughs> I've then, seen some things. If it's today, if it's today, then we're not taking revenge because, like, they can't take, they can't yeah, take, they can't take anymore. anymore. Yeah. Oh. Men are doing it. Yeah. Because then. My mom times, you know, <laughs> they are more disciplined. Mm. Yeah. yeah, even if the man is going around, he will say, oh, even if he goes... Mm. I'd, if anything, today, today I'd probably, if not 50-50, I say if, if actually okay. no, I, I never say women are a bit more, but I, I definitely say like nowadays it's it's an even playing. It's becoming field. equal, yeah. It's becoming very okay. equal. Okay. I would agree with that with this generation. If we're talking about this generation, even look at the way the young, yeah, these yeah, young definitely. girls are talking on social. Yeah, 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 it's true. Like, young guys, everyone's talking nah, it's madness. True, it's true. It's true. I give it to yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, I'm saying. Yeah, they're going to have no weapons because they have what they're going to do there. You know, no, it's, I agree, it's not I agree. like you've got women now that are actively going to go and mm. go go and look for like i got girls coming up to me. Mm. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah, before yeah. it's a thing where you go chasing, like, but now it's yeah, girls will come and hunt. Way, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I've seen a video the other day of a woman proposing to the guy and the girl was like... <laughs> like, yeah, I was about to say that. Like, now women are proposing yeah, to the, men. Yeah, and the girl, so. was, girl was like, yo, get up. Like, what's yeah, good? Yeah, yeah. So it's, it's generation, man. Yeah, okay. So, um, Michael don't agree. <laughs> <laughs> Michael is saying... Both women and men, all of them are mm. the same. I think I think we're all I think we're all polygamous. I think we're all the same. Yo, okay, I, I, okay. I, so if so, I suppose then if you're coming down to the question, are men polygamous? You, based on what you guys are saying, I would agree now. Mm -hmm. I say yes, we are, but I think naturally we're all we're wired. All, yeah. I think we're all wired the, the same. same. So it's not just okay. men that are polygamous. I think it's men and women. But see, thank you for your your input because yeah. it's now helped me to come to my final conclusion. Mm, wow. yeah. okay. Now I'm starting to see that. I just feel like because of how society is, that influences thing. But you know, men in mm. general as well, just how we are, you know. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We're, no, I know. We're, we're so, more... so I think I think we're all wired the same way, but we yeah. do it differently. Yes. Because yeah. even if you look at Adam and Eve, when when Eve was when um, the first time Adam saw Eve, she was naked. So the first thing he saw was a naked woman. Naked woman. So men so, are visual, yeah. whereas women. See? They're more on what they hear because the first thing Adam and Eve heard was, "Oh, you're the bones of my bones," and mm. you know what I'm saying. So, so this, women said, said, "This one is the bone from my flesh." Uh -huh. mm. You understand? Uh -huh. So when, you know when you hear a word like that, you the lady. So the women, yeah, yeah, women and men are wired differently, but they're doing the same thing. Yeah. If that makes sense. So yeah, that's what I think. Okay. So <laughs> all right, this is getting interesting. We were we are going on a short break. Stay tuned. Never mind. Never mind. Never. Hello family, thank you for sitting and waiting for us. We are still here. <laughs> this is the upper room. It's just going on nice. Michael is here, Daniel is also here. We are all happy having nice convo. And I, I hope you are also enjoying. If you have any thoughts, you can just put it on the on the comments. Don't go and DM anyone, please. <laughs> if you are if you, if you want to <laughs> <laughs> so the dog guy. <laughs> don't go and DM. If you want to insult, I just put it on the comment. Feel free. Just do it. <laughs> Amen. Are men naturally polygamous? That's the topic here today. Okay, we'll be going to our scenarios time. Okay, so uh, what do we have here? We are not mentioning name, but this is a this is a message that we got today. Okay, my wife and I keep arguing about my female friends. She doesn't want me to have any female friends. Some of these friends I knew before I got married, and it's difficult to just cut them off. What should I do about this? Hmm. You guys have to have a a, a, a real com but surely if you your wife must have known about your female friends mm -hmm. because you guys have gotten to know each other before you got married. So yeah. I'm saying I'm I'm assuming that she knew already. Mm -hmm. So this has probably been an issue that she's kinda let slide mm -hmm. up until now, but because you're married yeah. it's escalated. So I'll probably say you guys have to have a, a proper conversation because at the end of the day, your friends are your friends. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I got female friends that I'm close with. And I would hate to think that I can't have female friends because I'm married now. Mm. You know what I'm saying? That'll be, and but I'm sure it's be vice versa. If my wife had male close friends who she knew for years, I wouldn't want to strip that away. Yeah. There's a there's a lot of things that come into play. There's self esteem, like insecurity. You have mm. to look at a woman's past as well. Has she been hurt? That's mm -hmm. probably a lot of things that are built up to make her feel that way. So for me, you guys sit down, talk about it, and and come to a clear understanding. Sometimes a little bit of compromise is needed. 
Because mm. if it's a thing whereby you know your girl's past and you know she's been hurt in the past, mm. but these times you're being insensitive and you're still chilling with your female friend, knowing that she's going to feel a type yeah. of way, even though she knows nothing's going to happen, then you yourself have to look at you and think, right, okay, cool. I can't chill with my mm. girl like that, even though yeah. I know it's nothing. So I think it's, there's a lot of things that come into play. But yeah. by all means, don't get rid of your friends because but like, that's even how marriages go downhill. You yeah. get married and you feel like you have to isolate yourself in your now mm. because then what happens when you get bored of each other? You've got no release. Yeah. You can't go to your family, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So talk about it. For Come to a medium, find a middle ground and, and you guys work it out. That, okay. that would be, mm. wow, really, really be my advice. Yeah. Like, I, I agree. I, really like what I agree. I think, um, I think you know, your, people should be allowed to have friends, whether they're female or male. Um, it's just about having boundaries. And as a, in, if you're married, you need to sit down, like Mike said, sit down and talk about it. Why, why do you feel that way? Why do you feel your husband shouldn't have female friends? What, what do you, what, what's going through your mind? Is it a trust issue? Is it insecurities? Is it a past issue? Um, so yeah, you need to sit down and speak to him about it. And of course, these are people he's known before, even before you got married. So there's some, there is some sort of friendship that's been there for a long time, you know? And um, there must be a reason why she's feeling that There's way. There's always a reason why. So mm. I think we need to get to the bottom of it and find a solution. Mm -hmm. You understand? And I, I do think anyone that's married, if you have friends, the friends should know your wife or your husband. Mm -hmm. You know, we should all be friends. You get what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, let's so, be friends together. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's how it should be. So everyone's comfortable. Everyone, you know, knows what's going on. And yeah. That's great. Thank, thank you, guys. So would you, would you, um, would you ever let your, your husband... Mm -hmm. Go, go on like holiday with one of his female, female friends? friends? Interesting question. Um, first of all... <laughs> <laughs> like just one, um, one on one. On one just... Why are they going on a holiday together? Like what are they going to do on a holiday? So, 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 imagine, so like, I, imagine I got... Am I allowed to go on holiday with you? Yeah, them? you could come, but say for example, you're unable to come for whatever reason, like you're mm -hmm. busy during them dates and them like, nah, we, st we planned it, like we're still going to go. Would you, would you let them... You know what, it depends on the purpose of the holiday. Are they just going just to for go leisure and, to spend time together? No, no, just to go or, and like explore a different country. Like for example, if me and my guy wanted to go to America and mm -hmm. just go and go and explore, mm -hmm. travel the land, you know what I'm saying? Go Vegas or whatever. Vegas? Oh, yeah, that goes. Maybe not, maybe not Vegas. <laughs> or go like Alaska or something okay. and see the sets. In the same way, I got a female friend. Mm -hmm. you know, just because you know, switch it. She's a female. We wanted to go exploring whatever. Again. I'm and you're staying in years. the same hotel, same room? No, no, of, going on? of course not same room, different rooms. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Everything still patterned. Would you, would you, let, would you let them go? Um, I personally, I don't think my husband would even go on a holiday. That, I'm not talking with about a female. Your husband. <laughs> I said, what would you <laughs> what do? Would you do? Oh, said, why are you guys hoeing me up now? <laughs> okay, the, the answer is no. I'm going to flip, I'm gonna flip, no. flip it back on him as well. <laughs> the answer is no. The answer is no. No. Yeah. Okay. Unless I'm coming. If I'm coming, I don't mind. Your female friends can come. We can all chill together. Okay. Have fun together. There's a no, reason no why I'm asking, by the way, but I want, I want to get your... I want to get your... So, oh, Cliff, right, but if, if your, your partner uh -huh. said, oh, she's going to go on holiday with her male friend, uh -huh. you letting them go? Definitely. I'll go, I'm going to allow you to go. Really? Yeah. Okay, that's interesting. Okay. And then why would you say yeah? Okay. I trust my wife. Mm -hmm. and I'm going to allow her to go. And I'm showing her that I trust you. Mm. So if you go and then you go and do something, mm. and then knowing that ah, my husband gave me all this trust. Mm. Because you know now trust is not cheap on this earth. So if you go and then you go and do anything mm. that you know that is not right to do. You will see mm. me. <laughs> That's what I said. You don't, you don't, I think it's the purpose of the holiday. Why mm. are you going on holiday? Because, oh, right? I mean, I allow my, my partner has gone travelled without me and there's been females there and around and I don't mind. I don't mm. have a problem because, like you said, you know, I trust trust him. But if it's just them two and they plan it together... And... I've, been on, I've been on many... Well, I would just say many holidays. I've been on holidays with, like, just my female friend. Mm -hmm. As in, like, we're just friends. We ain't mm -hmm. never done nothing. We've just gone to explore. Mm -hmm. Come back. It's been, so, it's been calm. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I'm saying? Okay, well, so, so. and also it depends on the friend as well. If if it's a friend I know that they're cl you know they've been close, and I know the friend, the friend knows me, and I'm aware of their friendship and everything. Why not? It mm. all depends on the person and the purpose. Okay, because so. if if it's a girl I don't know, I don't know you from anywhere. Yeah, all of a sudden, you're now going on holiday with some new friend. 
Okay, so cool. So the reason why I was asking now, if you bring it back to the scenario and, and you look at it from this kind of lens now, because mm -hmm. before we're just looking at it from, a, oh, this is her scenario. I'm advising her. Mm. You now make it personal to you and mm. then really put yourself in their shoes. I then, you can, doing, yeah? then, <laughs> then you can now really okay. assess what she's going okay. through and okay. think, right, okay, this is what it is okay. now. Do you no, I get you. Yeah. I understand him That's now. You know, you know something? I think it's okay for men to have female friends, but there's boundaries. So you talking about holidays. I think everyone bound, everyone's boundaries is different. Mm. And what people can tolerate is also different. There's certain things, like for example, someone might not allow their man to go cinema with a female. Mm. But I, I think, like my partner loves films. So if he wants to go to cinema with a female, I don't have a problem because that's his passion. Mm. He might have a friend who's, who, whose passion is also films. I don't have a problem, but someone else might not accept that. So if someone might accept a holiday, me, I won't accept it. I, unless... love, I, I love that. That's, that's perfect because yeah. now you've explained my point. Yeah. Yeah. Because you see, if you're, if you're watching the scenario person, if you're watching, you see now where talking comes into play mm. because both partners can have two different perspectives, yeah. but once you get an understanding of each other and where mm. you're coming from, then you can come to yeah. middle ground. No, it's true. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So that's why communication really it's is so key. It's so true. It's so, so true. So key in this, in, in, so in, in this kind of Steve thing. Steve Harvey said something. That's what I was coming to say. Hey, Uncle oh, Steve. Yeah, 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 he said... <laughs> he you guys are in the spirit He together. said... <laughs> we're connected. He said, he, said um, he doesn't do female friends. Mm. And his reason was, he said, the only reason he's friend like you guys are friends is because the female hasn't given you the opportunity to have sex with her. So I don't know, you guys are guys. If, if you think about the female friends you have, if that lady gave you the opportunity to take it further, would you take it further? <coughs> you need water? <coughs> I want to know. <laughs> mm -hmm. <coughs> yep. <laughs> <coughs> In what context? Am I in a relationship? Mm. Yeah, you're in a relationship. I'm in a relationship. Yeah. Okay, yeah, let's say... Oh, no, no. So, wait. Give me both scenarios. So, if you're not in a relationship and if you are in a relationship... If I'm not in a relationship and she presents that opportunity, then I'm looking at that girl a different way. You okay. know what I'm saying? Because then, okay, all of a sudden... You're, I'm looking at you through a different lens because this this kind of thing has happened to me before mm -hmm. where I've had female friends and then, you know, over time they've expressed that they they mm -hmm. got feelings for me or whatever and, and maybe vice versa. Sometimes I'm like, hmm, I didn't know your your <laughs> mum was that, that way. That way. <laughs> until you go, until you mm. go, for example, you go on holiday and then you see them in a bikini or whatever. Yeah. So for me, it's like, it depends the situation, man. <laughs> it, depends, okay. it depends the situation. So do you think Steve was right in what he said? I, I don't... The only reason I say Steve wasn't right in what he said is because he's already... I think it, it's... You, look, you have to contextualise it because for him, he probably, he probably is right in what he said mm. because he knows him himself in that situation. Yeah. Given a... Given an opportunity, he'll probably do something, yeah. and that's fair enough. Mm. I know myself. So Steve is trying to say he doesn't have self control. Yeah, oh, facts. Okay, probably, facts. Probably, probably, probably yeah. doesn't have self control. So I know, I, I know myself. Yeah, that I would. I, I know the woman that I end up marrying. I'm gonna love her wholeheartedly. I'm never gonna want to cheat on her. Amen. If, Amen. If, if I'm yeah. in a situation, if I put myself in a situation where I know something mad can happen, mm -hmm. something mad, there's a possibility something mad could happen. Mm -hmm. I know myself in it. I'm not naive. We're all human. Yeah. So I'm never going to put myself in that situation. Mm -hmm. So for me, I'm probably going to do it, Uncle Steve at some point and say, listen, <laughs> baby girl, like, mm. you get me? We've been friends for years, but we got to have boundaries, boundaries yeah. now because it can't be the same. Yeah. And I'll tell my wife that my wife's going to know these boundaries. Mm. So, so that's, that's, okay. my, that's my thing. So the boundary is the key yeah. you need to have. Mm. Yeah. yeah. And I think another thing, I think some, sometimes the problem is like, for example, most of our friends sometimes end up looking like the, our partners. So there's a high risk. <laughs> <laughs> That's where the insecurity sometimes Wait, really? comes. So let me give an example. Some, some females, for example, if, for example, your, your female friend or best friend looks exactly like your girl, how she looks, everything. So in her head, she's thinking... You fell for me because I look this certain way, or you mm. fell for me because of these interests. Mm. You know, so if your female friend is exactly like me, you know, she's a filmmaker, you know, she's an entrepreneur, she's intelligent, same sh height as me and everything. I we I was the you film. You have common ground. We watched the film today, uh, Medea film, and Medea was like, ah, oh, 
if you've got if if your if your girl mm-hmm. help me out, help me out. Yeah, I know you know what I want to say. She's like if your if your best friend mm-hmm. and you, basically don't let your best friend mm. and your man mm. chill together. Mm. And I I get what she means though. But what, what does it? she mean? She's basically saying in the sense that if you give your man the opportunity to kind of be with someone, your bestie, yeah. that's like you, mm. similar attributes, then you're you're opening a gateway yeah. for something to happen. Okay. You know what okay. I'm saying? Yeah, so it's it. like, in all things, you have to really assess the situation yeah, that you're in and, and just be wise and be woke. Like, mm. it's it's not all of a sudden 2022 that we were waking up from naivety. Like, come on, yeah, guys. Yeah. It's been the same for time and it will continue to be the same. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? Mm. Like, there's there's people that have been in marriages for 30 plus years that have mm. never slept with anyone else apart from their women. So yeah. it can it's be done. It's definitely possible. Yeah, yeah. It's definitely yeah. possible. Yeah. Yeah. It can be done. Like, my mum was telling me, like, my, I remember my mum was sat down, she's been so real with me. She like, before before she got with my dad, there was, there was a lot of interest. Because my mum mm. is a beautiful woman, there was yeah. a lot of interest. And she was like, for her, it was like, she, she needed to assess mm. and see who the right person was. So it just always comes down to like you and knowing yourself really. And, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Wow. It's getting interesting. Ah. Okay, so... Yeah. Are we are, are, are we ending on topic here, or you have anything to say? <laughs> to be honest, I just think to the the lady in the scenario, you know, just assess the situation. Mm. You know, what's find out what the problem is. Why don't you want him to have female friends? Mm. What is it that she's thinking? It, what is maybe, it? That, maybe, is it something maybe, that that you need to address? Yeah, yeah. maybe the the lady caused inappropriate times. Yeah. Oh, like the friend you mean, the female friend. Yeah, the friend. That's, a, that's what I said, boundaries. Mm. There's, bou- yeah. there, there's no boundaries then. Mm-hmm. You know, you can't be calling someone's husband at 2 a.m. in the morning. Yeah, that's... that's when he's with mm. his wife. Mm. That, that's, that's you not having boundaries and all respecting the wife. That's where it, be- it can become a problem. So if then she's saying, I have a problem with you having female friends, then it will make sense because maybe the female friend doesn't have boundaries. Mm. So well, you guys have never spoke, so she doesn't yeah, even know. Yeah, exactly. So it's all about boundaries and you need to talk about it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. There's this question I want to ask. There was a there was a book I was reading, yeah, mm-hmm. and uh, it was a pastor that wrote the book, and he said one church member came up to him and then said, "Oh, like I feel like uh, like committed suicide, you know, because there have been times I see like women and all of a sudden this like sex thing just drop in my mind. Like I see the woman's body and then this thing comes to my mind." And what even made it worse that now I want to commit suicide is I saw a mannequin. A mannequin? Yes. Okay. In one shop. I don't know if it's Harrods or Savages. And uh, the, you know mannequin lady? It was turning the money a little yeah. bit. They okay. placed it a certain way. Yeah. He was feeling yeah. her. He said the moment mm. he saw it, you know, it came again. So he was the like, feeling. ah, even a mannequin. Why? Oh, wow. Now there's something wow. wrong with me. Wow. So this okay. man, Masiko himself, or oh, it seems he doesn't mm. know how he was uh, created or what right. is it? He, he definitely has an issue. Oh. I think he needs to assess. Nah, let me be I'm careful. Lie. Let, me be, okay. let me be careful what I say because he might he might ha- have an issue. He might need to like... That's, that's definitely no reason to kill yourself. Yeah, yeah. definitely not. No, definitely not. The pastor's reply was like, there's no need because this is what... Maybe not the mannequin, but this is what a lot of men go, go through. through. Men see women, and then it yeah. comes. He, but to so to me, it just sounds like he's got a very high sex drive. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, very, very the, high. The, the type of men that sleep with small, small babies and all, and then the guy arrested and all, because the high sex drive. So someone like this needs deliverance. Mm. Need to yeah, take. that's what I'm saying. He needs help. It's yeah. kind of like there, are, like what you just said. There are men who sleep with children. That's yeah. like perverts. Mm. It's mm. that's a whole different yeah. ball game. Mm. Do you know what I mean? They need help. You know they need help. They need to actually reassess Assess. their brain and why what they're going through. Do you do you, do you think people that have like this sex addict, uh, high sex drives and all? Do you think going to uh, mental, the, what what do they call it? A there council are for them to be counseling. advised. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah for yeah. them to be yeah. advised on uh, you know uh, things to do to control them. Is it right or like going to uh, church? For pastors to pray for you and then going to counsel. I don't even think I don't even think it's a, a, a going asking someone to pray for you. To be honest, yeah. I think it's you identifying it, and if you see it as a serious issue, do something about yeah. it. So if you again from from a Christian point of view, mm-hmm. if you think that your lust is becoming an issue, mm-hmm. 
you yourself pray over it and yeah. stop like stop what you're doing. Like, it's not going to be immediate because, for example, at one yeah. point, back in the day, yo, I couldn't stop watching porn. Mm -hmm. And I realised over time it was becoming an issue. Like, mm -hmm. I'm becoming addicted to porn. So over time, I had to stop, cut it out, mm -hmm. over time, praying, whatever. Then... I was able to stop. By God's grace, I could say, I've not watched porn in a Hallelujah. long time. Amen. And hopefully, yes, yes, yes. And hopefully I won't go back. <laughs> hopefully, we're yeah. never, no, no, not hopefully. I'm never going back. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But I knew at one point it was becoming an issue because mm. masturbation, pornography, yo, that, that can take yeah. off, seriously take over yeah. your life. And I yeah. had a high sex drive. So I said, nah, I yeah. got to come out of it. So I didn't need no one to lay hands on me. I just got down to work and mm. prayed. And then got over that issue myself. And now yeah. I am where I am. But That's good. You know what he's saying? You need to acknowledge the problem and yes. accept it as well. Because yes. if you don't accept it, you're going to be in denial all the time. Mm. If you accept it, acknowledge it, then you can do something about it. You realise, you know, you have a problem. You know, let me go therapy or let me... Some people's therapy is prayer, mm -hmm. like what he was mm -hmm. doing. You know what I'm saying? So from a Christian point of view, God is our therapy. Praying and actually acknowledging our sin, mm. going to God and saying, you know, I will need help. Like, help me. Like, we're all, we're all born into sin. We all make mistakes. Yeah. Whether you're a guy or you're a girl, there's so many things we, we go through. People yeah. are going through masturbation, pornography, so yeah. many things. But what I also will say as well, from a non-Christian point of view, or those that might be watching that aren't mm. Christians, uh, you, you yourself know if something in you is affecting your, your health and your mental health and your well-being. Yeah. So if I'm doing something and I know that deep down this thing is really killing me, in the same way, you just have to assess yourself and look at yourself and be like, if this is affecting me, I need to either speak to someone or actually go about out of my way to seek help. Do you know what I'm saying? Because yeah. we see it in so many things and then people start falling into depression and then you've got mm. mental health issues and a lot yeah. of things that start happening and affecting our lives. Mm. So you just have to really acknowledge, like you said, acknowledge what yeah. you're going through and, and actively go out your way to do something about it. Yeah. Wow. This, this, this is interesting. <laughs> we have to end it. Mm -hmm. Because there's more. I'm going to shift this topic. Mm. I'm not going to even bring it. I'm, we're going to shift it to the next episode. Uh, husband and wife, are couples, married mm. couples, supposed to use sex toys. Are they, uh, is it good to use it? Oh, uh, man, I two. wish I was there. <laughs> Yo, am I invited to the next episode? No, you can do, you can do that episode. Can I come to the yeah. next episode? Yeah. Oh, no, damn. No, man, no, no, I'm no. using all the toys in my marriage. We're using, <laughs> using everything. Like, what? Tell me where it's a sin to... Nah, I don't think Tell it's, me a it's a sin. Nah. Yo, it's bring not. out all the toys, but even that whip thing that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's ready. My yeah, wife. Okay. Yeah. My wife will if know. If you're married, listen, you if can do married, anything. Ah, okay, so, you can do anything. Oh, let me leave before I say something okay, wrong. Okay, so. Okay. Oh. Okay. My uh, wife. <laughs> oh, Charlie. <laughs> Alright, so thanks for watching. <laughs> thanks for watching. I'm, hey, I'm joking about it. My mom. <laughs> just in case my mom and my pastor see this. But hey, hey, listen, daddy. <laughs> no, nah, but your wife, though. Yeah. Your wife. When you're married, cool. listen. When you're married, that's a whole different book. Yeah. We'll talk about this. We'll talk about this. Thanks for watching, Aparu. I love you all. We love you all. Bye. Oh, my God. What's wrong with you? Love my love. Love my love, my love, love my love, my love, love my love, my love. Huh.